Hi everyone, my name is Adam Bennett. This is a video shop tutorial. Welcome to my first tutorial. Why should you watch this? So I've been doing motion design or motion graphics for 20 years now, teaching for four. And in that time, I've had students ask me how certain things are animated. And I've had to say, I've no idea, but I can guess. So a student asked me how this was done. This is by Sander Van Dyke. He's a brilliant animator. And by the way, it's a lot easier to copy something that's already been done than come up with the idea for that in the first place. I guess through doing it, I realized this is actually a good technique. If you don't mind tracing the font, it's actually the easiest way of animating a font in After Effects. These are the techniques we're gonna take a look at in this tutorial. Tracing over fonts with the pen tool, adding trim paths to animate a stroke, and using the graph editor to adjust animation timing. Okay, let's get started. This film has been classified PG. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film. The font type I think works best with this method is cursive. You've probably already got some cursive fonts installed on your computer. You can do a search for script in your character panel, look up cursive on Adobe fonts, or just browse cursive fonts on the interweb. I used Harlow for no better reason than it was my hometown as a kid. Interesting factoid, if you Google image search Harlow, the first result is this picture from an article entitled The Seven Reasons Why Harlow is Just the Worst Place in Essex. In a new composition, create a text layer which will trace over. Select the pen tool and in the options panel, alt click to turn off the fill and make sure you have a colored stroke. Then trace over your type. It doesn't necessarily have to be a type layer either. You can trace over an image. The layer underneath is just a guide anyway. To make it easier, you can drag in guides from your composition panel and make sure Snap to Guides is checked in your view options. Once you've traced your first letter, add trim paths to that shape layer group and keyframe the end value from 0 to 100. Then easy ease and adjust the timings in the graph editor. Once you've done that for all your letters, you can adjust the speed and then stagger the timing of the letters in your timeline panel by sliding the layers. You can then add extra animations such as the swirling around here before it makes the D shape. You can do that by adding vertex points to your path shape and refining until you've got something you like. You can then resolve off this extra part of the letter by keyframing the start of the trim path. To create the colour tip effect, duplicate all your animated layers and then move them to the bottom of the timeline stack. Then for those layers, adjust the timing of the animation in the graph editor so they animate on faster. I've expression controlled the stroke width and the colours here, but if you need to know how that's done, please take a look at my next video in this series. To create the bubblegum look of the text, I made a copy of the master text animation, but with a thinner stroke, called it highlight and offset it a bit. I then added a fake floor shadow by keyframing some paths on a simple shape layer. Look out for an upcoming tutorial where I'll break down the process of creating these rolling donuts one of which actually ran amok, causing millions of pounds worth of damage, as you can see from this mobile phone footage. Thanks for watching. Please take a long look through this project file, which you can download for free in the description below. If you found this tutorial useful and you'd like to see more, well, you know what to do. I'll be releasing new tutorials every Monday. Leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see a tutorial on in the future, and tag me on Instagram if you use these techniques in your work. I'd love to see what you come up with. You can find other tutorials on this channel and details of upcoming courses on my website. As I'm recording this, I currently have an online part-time motion design course for Escape Studio starting on 22nd of March. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.